Om Shanti, welcome and today we're doing the recording of yesterday's that is 25th and 26th of July's Godly Blessing. So in yesterday's Godly Blessing, Supreme Father wants us to become somebody, a soul, a powerful being who is in control of the five senses. That means we see only good when there's something evil going around in front of us. We can only see the good and we can hear only the good and we can speak out only the good. And that can only happen when the mind and intellect and the habits of we souls are purified. So let's see what does God have to say. Baba says, may you be a successful master of yourself and rule your physical senses with the power of knowledge. God says, hold a royal court of all your cooperative physical senses every day. So the five senses, God says, whenever you are there with yourself, ask these five senses, which are like your ministers. Eyes, did you see anything impure? Did you notice anything wrong in somebody? Any action of somebody? And have you registered that negativity about that person within your mind? Because this is a source for the intellect, for the mind. Same thing goes for the ears. Did you hear something negative about somebody and did you feel good about it? You can talk to your five senses and that's how the body is in tune with the soul and the soul can actually tell the body what to do and what not to do. So Supreme God Father says, check that. Check that none of your physical senses or workers are repeatedly making mistakes. This is because when you repeatedly do something wrong, it becomes a firm sanskar. Sanskar means a habit. Therefore, along with checking, also change with the power of knowledge. That I need not do this habit with my eyes, ears, mouth, hands and legs, which I have been doing for the past couple of days or years or months. And you will then be said to be a successful master of yourself. All souls who come into contact with those who are successful in the ruling themselves will be content. Imagine you're meeting somebody and you are noticing something impure about the other person right in front of you. Let's say an event is going on and you start noticing what is bad in this person and what is bad in the other person and you're sitting with somebody and you're talking negative over that person. You're draining your own energies out and you're draining the other person's energy also out and wasting their time, their energy and their qualities. So instead of imparting them qualities, we can be somebody who's imparting them vices. That could be putting down other people, disdainment, disgustment, or any kind of negativity. So God says, with those who are successful in ruling themselves will be content because such souls become worthy of everyone's thanks. So, do we want people to be content around us? And the only method for making them content around us is noticing good, speaking good, and hearing good. So, like God says, see no evil, talk no evil, hear no evil, and the fourth thing is, think no evil. And that's how you can make people content around you. Otherwise, you can boost your ego by thinking that that person or the situation because of that person is down and if I was there in his place or her place I would have done it differently and that will satisfy our ego for a very long time but we'll not feel satisfied forever and that is what God wants us to do with the help of meditation and we can get that power you too can get that power so that your eyes ears mouth nose hands everything is listening to you mind and intellect and you develop great sanskars or habits out of that with this om shanti